And then extensive uh, exercises, question number three. Jenny has two younger brothers. The total of all three of their, their ages is 15. And the ages of Jenny's brothers are both positive even numbers. This is important information. We need to use this. And remember, it's two younger brothers, okay, not two older brothers. So let's have a look. What could the age of Jenny and her brothers be? So Jenny plus brother number one plus brother number two is an odd number. And we know that the two brothers are both positive even numbers. And we know that even number plus even number is still a, an even number. So Jenny, Jenny's age plus an even number is an odd number. So that means Jenny's age must be an odd number. Okay. So this is uh, odd even number analysis. We've done this in the previous lesson, lesson one. So what are the odd numbers we can use for Jenny? Uh, let me just write down the possible numbers we can have. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. Then can we have 1? So if Jenny is 1, then the two brothers will be 7 and 7. So right now we just consider the two brothers to be of the same age. So 1 plus 7 plus 7 is 15. But Jenny is 1 year old and her two brothers are 7 years old. Apparently, this is impossible. Uh, yeah, they won't be younger brothers in this case. So one, we cannot use. How about three? If we have three, then the two brothers will be six years old. Three, six, six. Oh, the two brothers are still older than Jenny. So no, three doesn't work. How about five? Five plus five plus five is 15. Then all three of them will be of the same age. So no, it doesn't work. So we start with seven. The the smallest um, uh, number, the smallest age Jenny can be is 7 years old. So when Jenny is 7 years old, 15 minus 7 is 8, and divided by 2 gives us n, give us 4. So 7, 4, 4. This is a possible condition. And then because they, we want them to be even numbers, that means we are multiplying or adding, uh, sorry, not multiplying, we are adding or minusing 2. Okay, because we, if we add 1, it will be an, e, uh, an, an odd number, not even number anymore. So 4 plus 2 and 4 minus 2 because um, the sum of their age is the same. So if we, if we add a 2 to one number, then we have to take away the same amount to the other. And that will give us 7 plus 6 plus 2, which is also 15. And that is all the situations we have when, when um, Jenny is 7 years old. We don't want to consider 7 to 6. It's because um, I, it's, it's the same, actually. We can have the first brother to be 6 years old or the second brother to be 6 years old. It's the same situation. Yeah. So the count is 1. And then we can have Jenny um, to be 9 years old. So 9 years old, we'll, we will have 9, and then 15 minus 9 is 6, so 9 plus 3 plus 3. Oh, sorry. Um, it is, is it 6? 15 minus 6 is, sorry, 15 minus 9 is 6. Yeah, so we cannot have 3 plus 3, yeah, because we want two even numbers. So... What, which two even numbers will add up to 6? We found that it can be 2 and 4. So plus 4 plus 2. And that is all when Jenny is 9 years old because if we take away 2 from the 4 and then plus 2 to the 2, we'll get the same result. 9, 4, 2. No difference. Yeah, we, do, we don't want 9, 6, 0, because we don't want any of them to be zero years old. That means they are not born yet. Yeah, so 7, yeah, 9 considered, and then 11. So if Jenny is 11 years old, then the two numbers should add up to 4, because 11, 15 minus 11 is 4, so 11 plus 2 plus 2, this, this also works. Um, again, we cannot plus 2 or minus 2 again, because that will generate a 0. And also, 0 is not a positive number, so we won't consider 0. And can we have 13? When Jenny is 13 years old, the two brothers will be 15 minus 13 divided by 2, so each of them will be 1 year old. And apparently, 1 is not an even number, so no, 13 doesn't work. And that is all the possible uh, combinations, or situations, with 
Jenny, and her two younger brothers. So these four, four situations, and that's question number three.